A quick video for you to show you how to register and log in to the online student area uh, available to everyone to help you practice when I'm not around, which is full of handy tips, tricks, videos and resources, as well as a practice diary to help you remember what uh, tips, tricks and uh, practice goals we've set in our sessions. So first things first, when you go on to the studio64music.co.uk website, there'll be a register button in the top right hand side that you'll need to click. Um, it should populate with this page, uh, giving you some information about the dashboard and your account, um, and also some information on the process. So when you've registered for the account, just give me a couple of days to set um, your account up in the background to make sure you've got the right resources um, and the right uh, permissions. Um, if you don't want to wait a couple of days, just drop me a text and I'll do it straight away for you. Um, one thing to note is that each student will require a separate email address to register to create a separate account. So just bear that in mind. Um, when you're ready, you just need to create a new username. Try and keep it to your name, it's a bit easier. Um, a password, your full name, email address, and your telephone number. And then there's a little bit about your data then just making sure it's kept secure. So I'll give that a little read. Um, if you're happy, tick the box and you can click submit. I've already registered, so you can already see that. When you registered and I've uh, made sure that you've got all the correct permissions and I have verified your account and set it all up, you'll then be able to log in. So to do that, you go back to the homepage. And as you can see in the top right hand side, you've got your login button. So once you click the login button, you'll need to pop in your username or email address and your password and then that'll take you to your online account and your dashboard. So I'm just gonna click go to dashboard. And then the main thing that you will use um, is the practice diary. Um, but before we go into that, let me just take you around the dashboard. So you've got all of your tuition details, your name at the top, what courses you're on, your start date, how many cancellations you've had or short-term cancellations. If you're not 100% uh, clued up on that, then you've got your uh, cancellation policy on the side there, if you click the read my cancellation. Uh, you've got your goals, whether that's working towards grades or uh, working towards the next concert or performance, your goals will be there. And then you've got your course materials on the right hand side. So like I said, the main thing you're gonna be using is the practice diary and this it will be updated every time that we have a session. Um, I'll make sure that all your goals, your hints and your tips and what I'd like you to practice until our next session will be included on here. And when you click that, comes up with your practice diary. So for example, today I set myself four one hour practice sessions a week. Uh, the scales I'd like to, myself to practice is C, D, uh, sorry, C, G, D and F majors and D, A and C minors. For study notes, I'd like to do study number one, played once every time I practice, and then our practice expectations for grade pieces and any YouTube videos that I think might be handy that you can watch. So that's a practice diary and these will be updated every session like I said as we practiced. If we go back then to the dashboard, so click in dashboard at the top, you'll be able to see course materials and depending on what instrument you're practicing or whether you're doing theory, you just click into one of these that uh, is relevant to you and you'll have the grades across the top and the videos and resources in these boxes um, that will help you play when I'm not around. So say, for example, I was struggling to play the C major two octave scale, both hands together. It was driving me nuts. Well, just log into your online account, go to the piano resources, click C major two octaves, scale both hands. There should be a nifty little score that will come up with the music. And here's me guiding you through a little what, um, YouTube video of how to play your C major scale, both hands. So this will be really, really handy when I'm not around, like I said, and you'll be able to uh, play along and, and catch up and play along with your grade pieces and other pieces that I pop on YouTube as well. If there's anything that you wanna see, let me know and I'll populate it on your um, account for you. Um, and if you have any questions, again, let me know. Um, it, to log out then is very, very simple. So you just scroll back up, click log out, and uh, you should be able to log back in then whenever you come back to practice next time. Uh, I hope that was helpful. Give me a shout if you need anything and have lots of fun.